What's up guys, Icebreaker here. As you can see, I've just hit rank 20. I'm still at 4ER, considering going to 5. Um, still haven't got any shock launches or anything yet. But um, I'm going to show you how I did it right now. Right then guys, this is the only account that I play Warships on. And most people will know that um, I don't play the whole season. I normally fade out slowly, but surely sort of give up. Um, for a week or so before the end, I normally park up and call it a day. So considering whether or not to go to 5ER or not, um, at the moment, I'm quite enjoying 4ER at the moment. And like I said, I've just hit rank 20, so we'll grab that chest. That gives us plenty of keys and tokens. I could now say for... Um, for 5ER but I'm going to grab shock launches and put some levels into them so get a couple of them as well um, but obviously I haven't had them till now but my attack log is pretty good and um, the three defeats that you can see are where I fizzled out there are some pretty good um, anti-seeker bases about but I'm still winning a lot more than what I'm losing um, I do now have um, the extra GBE from that one and that one and I went back and picked up um, barrage so I've maxed that out too that's mainly for the sky shield or to clear some mines or if they haven't got a sky shield and stuff and you don't need to clear too many mines I'm buying out an ER as well but um, let's jump into a couple of attacks and I'll show you what I mean okay so this guy's got um, one of the spread out layouts with the sky shield at the back which is um, to be anti-seeker, because you can't shock all those flamethrowers and machine guns if you if you haven't got barrage. So I literally just spread out the landing, um, butted out the sky shield, dropped a shock, and dropped the last remaining bit of GB as a barrage on the ER as, as the uh, seekers got there. This is a popular layout at the moment. Um, this is supposed to be anti-seeker, but it's also quite slow for gramps and that as well. Um, as you can see there, I'm using the barrage there just to um, clear some of the mines in between. Um, I could have barred out the sky shield, but um, I decided to just go with clearing the mines. The um, seekers and that weren't taking too much of a beating on the way through. So I knew I could get enough seekers to the end, to that top ER, to um, take it down. As you can see, it was at least three or four boats worth there, um, which is more than enough to get it down before the flame throws and stuff can kill them all off. Again, this one is trying to combat the Seekers. Um, it's probably a little bit outdated now, this layout, because obviously you can just split land for the lower three and bar out that shield gen and all those mines. Um, so that's literally what I did. I put three boats on the far right, then three and then two. And then they split up, go for the lower three, three yards first. And by the time that one goes down, you can see that they're all merging now back into one pack. So threw down some smokes, barted out the sky shield and then and the mines as well. And then just shocked those last few defenses there by that last ER. This one was my boss fight for rank 20. Got really lucky with this one. As you can see, no sky shield. Um, his mines aren't that great, especially for a player with barrage. Because all I did was bar out this top ER and let the seekers clear the other three and all i had to do was just keep the shock launchers shocked so drop them all down um on this left side and as they got the one they split i was able just to shock the shock launches while they ran round, got those two ers and i bited out the top one like i said and that was my boss fight for rank 20. okay so my times then on average are um, like I said, the ones that I lost are ones that I fizzled. Um, so 329 there, 331, 329, 325, 322. Um, that guy, I managed to get all my all of his ERs down before he got one of mine, um, probably using Gramps. Um, a boss fight was a 332, buying out that top ER. I went for Barrage first because I knew everybody was going to be going for the sky shield and the mines. And the shock launchers haven't been that much of an issue for me while I'm seeker in players. So I decided to pick up the shock launchers later and get the, the advantage of having that barrage either to take out an ER or the mines. 
um, and then and I've literally just picked up um, shop launches just now like you've seen so I'm now in a position where I could save for um, 5ER and go for the RE and the heavy chopper and stuff um, or I might just stick around in 4 and just seek my way to diamond um, and see how that goes um, I haven't really decided yet maybe you can let me know in the comments what you think I should do and if it sounds like a plan we might go with that and then I can blame you guys if it all goes wrong sound good happy days then that's it then guys I will um, catch you next time have fun